right now is six or sixteen. My eyes are getting really bad these days. Uh -oh. yeah. Time for another chuckle of forecast. And Katie, <laughs> looks like the heat from the weekend sticking around. Yeah, well, it sounds like you can't see your suit then, Jim. Uh, that listen, eagle suit. the one you're wearing right Katie. now is lovely. It's the eagle <laughs> suit that hurts my eyes. Goodness. Just what's saying. happening here? <laughs> I love He's the protesting. eagles. <laughs> and I'm so thrilled that they won, but that suit. No! Stay away oh, from my no. camera see, shot. You see what you Stay did, away. Katie. You see what you did. Right. Just... So All what right, is the weather ahead. going to be like, Katie, Please. this morning? Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> it's, feel it. It's, it's like Look luxurious. Look He's hideous. It's luxurious. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna, I just stay away from anything flammable around this guy. All right, let's talk about the thermometer. It's gonna be awfully hot outside. So, yesterday was a very, very toasty day as well. Low 90s. We hit 92 in Philly, Allentown, Wilmington, Trenton, mid upper 80s in Atlantic City. Even Mount Pocono hit 85 degrees, pretty much on par with those values here again today. The record to beat is 92. I think we're gonna make a run for 90, though. Meanwhile, we look at storm scan at this very wide zoom. Hurricane R Maria is still churning as a category one storm, and it will just barely Raised North Carolina before it juts out to sea. This trough is the reason why. That trough is going to be the game changer in our pattern and where Maria goes. So, what happens is as that trough digs in, the jet stream starts to drop south, and jet streams not only help to steer storms, but they also separate the cool air from the warmest air. So, we are going to be back to a dose of fall reality in short here in time. In the meantime, we're also spared the effects, the major effects of that hurricane, but you are going to see some stronger surfs and rip currents. Now, it looks a little hazy here, though, out of the Boardwalk Plaza in Rehoboth. We do have a lot of clouds out there, certainly, but uh, this is very much confined. I haven't seen a lot of fog in most cameras, so just keep that in mind. You you could run into it in some of the more remote spots, but as we look ahead in the eyewitness weather seven day, we do return to what is seasonable for a change by Friday and for the Temple game on Saturday, Misha. Yeah, it might be a shower around, but this definitely looks and feels like football weather for a change. Yeah, it's. It